Hello, in this lesson, we're going to go through some of the features of the Parse platform as well as sign up for our Parse account. So I'm on parse.com, I just clicked into the products section. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we're going to be using, uh, which is this thing called Parse Core. And if you click into that, you can see some of the cool things you can do with it. So this feature, save data in the cloud, is primarily the reason we're going to be using it in this demo. But if you keep scrolling down, um, there are some other cool things you can do with Parse Core. Uh, you can make your app social, so you can log in via social networks with just a couple of lines of code. Um, and I've had a chance to use this one as well, Local Data Store, which is really cool. So if your uh, app doesn't have a connection and it can't save data into the Parse Cloud, um, it can store that data locally. And furthermore, some data doesn't need to be stored on the cloud, so you can store it locally within the app. Uh, they have this feature where you can have a web presence for your app, uh, creating a landing page, but I haven't used that one before. Uh, and if you need to create server-side code, maybe some sort of uh, processing logic before putting the data into the database, you can do that using the Parse JavaScript SDK to write that server-side code. Uh, and then furthermore, this is getting into stuff that I haven't used before, background jobs. Uh, you can schedule things to happen. So it says here whether that's e sending emails or updating the data or doing some, maybe even running server-side logic. Uh, and this is what makes it also useful. There's a parse dashboard where you can create your table schema, but they don't call it a table. It's the concept of records. Uh, but you can view all of your data in here your analytics and stuff like that through this easy to use dashboard, which we'll see in a couple lessons later. And lastly, like I mentioned before, one of the benefits of using a platform like Parse is that this is all they do is to be the best at being a backend for your app. So if your app takes off and gets really popular, you don't have to worry about adding servers or making sure that your uh, data is replicated across them and doing load balancing and, and all that sort of stuff uh, that comes with managing it on your own. It's very easy to scale up or down um, and you only get charged for what you use. But they have a very generous free tier so you probably won't have to pay for a while unless your app really gets popular. Uh, and lastly, the reason why we're doing this is so that we can share data between different platforms, right, and across different devices. So unlike uh, using CloudKit, which is iOS only, using Parse allows us to uh, say we built an Android app. It can also use the same Parse uh, backend instance that is shared with the iOS side. Okay, and what we've gone through now is just Parse Core. There's two other modules that we can look at is Parse Analytics and Parse Push. But I think that's good for now. Um, what I want you to do is go up into the upper right hand corner and click sign up uh, and register for an account. You can simply register an account using an email and a password or you can log in with one of your social accounts. So once you do, you'll be brought to a page kind of like this where you have a dashboard. And here are just some of the sample apps that I've created to play around with uh, Parse. But what we are going to want to do uh, is to create a brand new app up here. So we could name this, uh, let's name it chat app and click create. Uh, and then it's created. So that's really it. You've just created a Parse backend instance for your app. In the following lessons, I'll show you guys how to integrate the Parse SDK into your Xcode project so that you can start connecting to this backend instance and start saving and retrieving data. All right, I'll see you guys in the next lesson.